Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing my first ever Not With Me video. So this is basically just going to be a full time lapse of me making this keychain. So this is the keychain that I made in the video. So it is just these three little butterflies. And in the pattern, the butterflies were all different colors, but I just really like blue. So I just did all blue butterflies. I will have the pattern linked down below if you guys want to make the keychain as well. However, I will not be doing a tutorial on this keychain just because this is an alpha pattern and alpha patterns are very difficult to do tutorials on because one two patterns like the entire pattern you just keep repeating that over and over again until your bracelet is long enough but with alpha patterns the entire pattern is the pattern so if i were to do a tutorial on an alpha pattern the video would literally be hours long <laughs> and i know for a fact that nobody wants to sit through that video <laughs> So that is why I have made tutorials on how to read alpha patterns so that you guys can make alphas still. And I really encourage you guys to watch that video or just to learn how to read patterns because it's very beneficial on knowing how to read patterns so that you can make the patterns that I don't do videos on. I'm only saying this because I know many people being like, oh my god, do tutorial, but like I can't do a tutorial on this, I'm sorry. This took me like probably six hours to make, so... Also, for the start of this bracelet, I did the alpha teardrop loop and I watched Masha Knott's tutorial on this. I'm going to link that video down below. I would like to do a video on how to do this, but like, it's just very complicated and I feel like Masha explains that very well, so yeah. But anyways, without further ado, let's go ahead and just get on into the video. Alright guys, so here we are starting the time lapse. So I'm just starting this bracelet and... I wanted to basically just talk to you guys about something I said in my previous video, which was the random pattern challenge, um, that I wasn't going to show the pattern because I did not want to get copyright claimed. Um, I've gotten a few questions, I think there probably is some confusion about that and basically everything to do with that. So basically we all know that you can go on to like friendshipbracelets.net or bracelet book or Pinterest or whatever and you can find bracelet patterns on friendship bracelets, right? And all of those patterns were created by someone. They didn't just like appear out of nowhere. Like somebody literally sat down and designed that pattern and that design for that bracelet. And interestingly, every single bracelet pattern ever to be created is actually copyrighted to the original creator of that pattern. And I guess it's like normal that any creative or artistic work is automatically like copyrighted to the creator by law, but I did not know this because nobody says anything. So I basically made a video um, using someone else's pattern and they did not like it and so they actually copyright claimed my video. This happened like literally like January 1st. And I don't think I'm allowed to say who the person was for legal reasons, but you could probably figure out who it is. Um, it was the Santa hat bracelet as well as my first watermelon tutorial, which that pattern was not even theirs, but that's a whole other story. Anyways. So I am still doing these tutorials because basically now if I want to make a tutorial on a pattern, I actually have to ask the creator if I'm allowed to use their pattern for a video. So that's why a lot of the time you guys will ask me to do videos on patterns and it's like, well, I'd, I have to ask the creator if I'm able to do that first and if I even get a response, which most of the time I don't get a response, then it has to be yes. So I kind of just wanted to let you guys know about all this and just be like transparent about it. I do have two copyright strikes on my account. They do expire in like a month though, so that's, that's good. And obviously I was not in any way trying to take credit for these designs. I could never do any of this. I've tried to make patterns before and it's very difficult, so I applaud the people that are able to do it. I was just simply making a tutorial on it because that's what you guys like and that's just what I do. And honestly, I think that 95% of pattern creators don't really care about this because what's the point on making a pattern for people to use and then get mad at people for using it, you know? So I feel like most people really just don't care and they want you to use their patterns and they want you to like share it and stuff like that. I think that this person, just because like they are also a bracelet YouTuber and stuff like that, they just didn't like having their stuff on like another bracelet account because it's like competition maybe i honestly don't really know but anyways 
that is basically the entire story behind that. Um, I hope that, like, clears some stuff up and, like, maybe it's a little bit insightful for you guys that maybe didn't know because I didn't know. I've been doing bracelets for almost three years and literally had no idea that this was even a thing. But yeah, this bracelet is done now. I'm just like cleaning up all the edges. Usually as I'm making it, I will like cut off all the scraps because it really bothers me, but I thought it would be like really satisfying to just do it all at once just for the video, so. Also again, I'm literally so sorry for the background noise. The street in front of my house is like, they're like building new houses there. So for probably the next few months, it's gonna be a lot of like construction noise in my videos and it's so annoying. And also my brother is literally so loud. And it's ridiculous and it's a constant daily struggle for me <laughs> and it's horrible so i'm really sorry but yeah i don't really know what else to talk about but i think i'll just let you guys know that it is a goal of mine this month to upload at least once a week and i'm gonna try to start doing a variety of videos doing tutorials doing like these not with me videos um doing like challenges and stuff like that i really want to film a like bracelet storage collection supplies video so that will hopefully be coming soon also, in like six weeks, I'm actually going to Cancun. <gasps> I'm going to Cancun with my boyfriend and his family, and I'm literally so excited. You guys have literally no idea, but I'm going to be going for like like over a week, so I will try to pre-film videos for that, but I'm so excited. Please be excited for me because I am so excited to go to Mexico. It's going to be so fun. Anyways, video's over. Okay, goodbye. Alrighty, guys. So that was the Not With Me video. I hope you guys all like this. If you want, I can for sure do more of these if you guys enjoyed this kind of video. I mean, it was fun for me. If you do want me to do more of these, um, then definitely just like comment patterns I should do for these videos. But yeah, I love you guys so much. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you guys all again next time. Goodbye.